Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video shopping around at Index Portland and Index, Index PDX here and uh, just looking around and seeing some of these sneakers uh, on the walls. And then towards the end of the video, I'll show you guys some crazy heat that uh, hasn't been really seen before, which is kind of fun uh, when when I um, am able to go in the store and they show me something that, that really there's no images on the internet for or anything like that. Uh, so uh, shout out to the, the crew over there at Index PDX. Always a fun uh, group. I stopped in with the wife and the, and the kid and was visiting for a minute and uh, yeah, just catching up after the, the holiday break and whatnot. So um, yeah, just kind of like walking through and seeing the stuff on just the, the, sh the wall of sneakers. There's like a lot of general releases that have happened in recent times, but there's a lot of older ones uh, that if you just kind of look around, you look, you, you look and you go, oh, look at these. I haven't seen these like in forever or in some cases you've like uh the younger dudes might have never seen the, the those retros at all or some of them so it's just kind of fun to look around and see uh, what they have these ones are coming out again i believe uh in 2016 uh so it's kind of fun to see them uh, just up on the wall from the last retro and just kind of browsing around um i figured i'd just do this kind of for fun and that way like you can see what it looks like when i'm actually in the store browsing around and, and looking at uh, some of the shoes and ones that catch my eye. Every one of the ones I'm picking up here are ones that I don't own. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of retros that I do have, but there's a lot of them that I don't have. This is one of them. And I've been searching on the internet for a pair of these, the Citrus 9s, uh, but I have not found one for a decent price. And uh, like probably last year, there was a whole bunch of them for really, really cheap prices. But since they did the Citrus 11 lows, uh, then it kind of flooded the like my searches when I was looking for Citrus Jordan, so kind of unfortunate. And then the prices seem to have gone up a little bit um, on on those, at least for right now. The the prices on retro sometimes fluctuate so much. Sometimes it's decent, sometimes it, it's just ridiculous, um, depending on, I guess, the year and whatnot. Uh, there's some the corks over here as well, and then just kind of looking through and seeing what we have. Uh, lots of just random things. I was like, oh, what are these? I haven't seen these ones before kind of the gray or not gray brown and black and white these things are dope dude these uh flight posits i believe these ones were uh platinum posits those ones are were crazy i never had a pair of those ones from back in the day but um some of the colorways went on super di deep discount they just weren't overly popular uh same as those ones right there and then uh i actually have a pair of these in a different color i believe uh the carnivores i think those ones are uh maybe i'm wrong i don't know and then check these out it's like oh yeah just a wall full of sneakers and these. That was the first pair that turned me uh, to uh, to Asics. Just the overall uh, execution of those um, shoes were insane. And I know it's like the most hyped up one, go figure. But it is hyped up for a reason. And then these guys, I think Sneakerhead in the Bay was looking for these at one point. And I remember those were at Outlets, dude. I cannot believe I passed on those probably three years ago. They had a whole bunch of them. Maybe it was four years ago. Some multicolors. I can't believe I passed on them, though. One, uh, regardless, I, like, I, I should have copped them in my size i think they were like 70 dollars or something like that um and they had a lot of them and i of course i just i didn't end up picking them up and i've been wanting them ever since another one that i frequent uh back there and then they had some kobe's here check these ones out i actually really like these ones i wanted these ones back in the day those are like the 3d ones i think where the other one has the blue and that one had the red i believe um and then just some random uh j um did i say j's you you know what i meant lj's um lebron's i had those sixes right there i don't have these ones Six is a, kind of a slept on model in my opinion, uh, same as the five, uh, as you can see right here. Um, but uh, but I do have one of each at least. I mean, I, I have my collection of my one through thirteen Lebrons, which actually I should probably throw down a picture of like one of every colorway or one of every model. Uh, not every colorway. I don't have every colorway, but that's pretty much it. Just scan the store. Just show you guys some pictures now of the heat wall, uh, because that is definitely the one where people uh, like to check it out. So there's just an overview, and then. Here you go. Um, this is the the cream of the crop stuff behind the the plexiglass wall, uh, the mags, the uh, you know obviously the the Jordans, uh, the Oregon Duck ones, and you can see in the upper right is the yellow toe sample Tokyos. Those are not my pair though, but they had one in the shop as well. A lot of really kind of uh, rare samples of Jordans as well as the Dornbecker series. They have most of the ones in uh, the shop, and then you can see the Supremes down there and some uh, some Jordans. And just lots and lots of stuff on the heat wall. It's definitely a crazy uh, look. You can see uh, the rest. There's a Heineken Dunks down there. And then uh, some Yeezys and some PEs down at the bottom. This It's just like a virtual, like, I don't know, just ridiculous thing to look at. It's so much fun to look through this wall. I could spend a lot of time uh, checking out all the sneakers behind there. 
and then uh yeah some kobe's and and some more lebrons down there and then there's those graffitis down there which i always love those but this is really the part of the video that i'm excited to show you guys these are some sample laser uh air jordan 4s that came out i think in 06 or so correct me if i'm wrong i don't know the actual years i didn't look at the sample tags on these but both two samples that are extremely rare look at the the black pair has that brown laser etching on it uh, the release pair obviously was like a black laser etching so it didn't stand out as much and then there's some accents in red obviously there's some gold accents on that one as well behind the tongue and then the air uh, pocket that are gold and then these ones are also samples and different than the ones that released they look fairly similar but i actually don't have the pair that released so i don't know um, overly too much but the one thing that uh, stands out is that black extra lining on the midsole towards the sole and the midsole underneath the air pocket that's something that you don't see as well as the the quality of the leather these are just crazy um and i mean just the the leather material is just really really nice on this sample so both of these samples are available at the shop check the link in the description if you guys want to see uh any of the sneakers um that uh, they have on their website available and they do ship so uh the fun consignment shop in portland and uh, shout out to the crew again for for letting me uh, get my hands on look at these things definitely definitely crazy uh, thanks for watching. Peace, guys.